used to be being loud, hanging out, making moves all over town. Trying to be cautious, showcasing my style. It hey, my beauties, it is CC, your frugal goddess. I am coming to you today with a wig review. Yes, I know y'all like CC. We just thought you don't quit doing wig reviews. No, you guys, I am just enjoying my vacation. And, you know, that's it. Just enjoying my vacation. The wig I'm reviewing today is the wig I have on. It is 100% human hair. I think it is Remy Fiber. I'm not 100% sure, so I'm not going to tell you no tales. But you guys, I am loving this unit. Now, I will tell you, if you choose to purchase this unit when you first get it, it's going to look kind of blah. Okay? So, I purchased this unit probably like two years ago. Two to three years ago. Yes. Never pulled it out the package. Nothing. And, well, yes, I'm, I'm lying. I did pull it out the package. I pulled it out the package the first time. I was like, ugh, I don't feel like messing with this. So, I put it back in the package. So, I was looking for wigs to bring with me on my vacation. And I wanted, um, I, I brought a few human hair wigs with me because of the humidity and everything and I wanted some versatility with styling so this one again is 100% human hair I purchased it from from um, our own Fashion Diva TV here on the YT and she did a review for it I will link her review down below and then I will also link the um, put the link down below where she got it from so, I pulled it out the other day. Um, I did a short review on Facebook, a short review video. And I was like, okay. So, today I pulled it out and I added some more curls to it because it is a Brazilian body wave. And it is really wavy and I don't like it in a natural state. Not on me. It does not fit my face shape or anything. It is a lace front and it does have like um, about that much parting space. In there, but the, I'm gonna tell you the density in the front is like really thick. You are not gonna see the parting space unless you pluck it or whatever. And y'all, I'm not gonna mess with that. It is not that soft, soft lace, but it's not that hard lace either. This is like the perfect lace. I absolutely love the lace on this wig. It does not roll up or curl up, and it does not cut you. Y'all know that hard lace will cut you to death. Let me uh, get y'all a little 360. Let you see how it is made and cut. It is a uh, asymmetrical type thing. It is a bob cut and it's longer here. And I just curled it, add some little flips to it. And um, yes, I am. I mean, I'm really feeling it with the little flips or whatever. Y'all, I used a, um, a curling iron, flat iron, which I will come back and do another review on because it was it was sent to me for that purpose to review it. So, I'm going to come back and do a review on that. But this is supposed to be a Rihanna style, uh, Rihanna inspired style cut or whatever. Um, I don't know. I'm going to tell you the truth. When I first saw it, even when Fashion Diva TV had it, it reminds me of the shorty wig. That's what it reminds me of. It reminds me of the shorty wig. And shorty is one of my favorites. So, I was like a human hair shorty. You winning all day long because you know Shorty is a classic. Okay, so that's why I really got it from her and I have, I washed it and whatnot and it does um, go into a natural body wave. When you wash it, it turns into a natural body wave. But it is two combs, one right here, one right here. The adjustable straps and a comb in the back. Now let me tell you about the adjustable straps and the comb in the back. The adjustable straps are behind the comb in the back. I think that is so cool because a lot of times when you had adjustable straps and they're, they're underneath where the comb is, sometimes your wig does not lay right. This one lays really good in the back. I mean, it really does. It fits really nice. Um, again, like I said, the lace is not that hard lace. So, like, it doesn't, um, it's not hard, but it's not super soft. So, you know, I could put a hairpin right here if I chose to, and it would just lay perfectly. I think I will put a hairpin right there just because I got a braid right here from another wig that I'm uh, getting ready to try on. 
But anyway, I'm going to get out of here, y'all. I'm having a wonderful time on my vacation. I am really enjoying my kids and my grandbabies. Uh, I just want to thank each and every person for their support. Y'all, I am going to try to start back watching videos. I know I have not been watching you guys' videos. Um, people that I owe prize mail to. One, uh, one of them <laughs> I actually left at home. So I have to do the label here and then print and then have my husband print the label off at home. So I'm going to attempt to take care of that this weekend. If I don't get to it to this weekend, it's going to be about a week or so before I can do it because by me being out of town, I don't want to spend all my money and just be completely broke because you never know what's going to happen. So, um, yeah, I'm just being honest with you. You know what I'm saying? Um, so that's it. But I will have any and everything out by the first. I do have... Um, some other things that I'm still going to give away, okay? I'm going to be doing my giveaways. I just got to kind of get back on track, y'all. My kids be wearing me out. I'm not going to lie to you. It's not even the kids. It's the grandkids and just being in a different environment and everything. So, um, but yes, I'm rambling on. Let me say a quick prayer and then I'm going to get out of here. Lord, we humbly come before you in your precious son, Jesus' name. We thank and praise you for allowing us to make it through this day thus far. Lord, I ask that you touch... Mm. Touch Brittany right now, Lord. Touch her from the crown of her head to the soles of her feet, Lord. I ask that you just fill her right now with your Holy Spirit, Lord. Because I know what she's going through is just so shocking to her. Lord, and I just ask that you touch her and fill her, and fill her with your spirit and heal her heart, Lord. I know that only you can do it, Lord. And Lord, I just ask that you do not let her make any of the mistakes I made. During my time of grief and misery, when I was going, when I lost my babies, Lord, in your mighty son, Jesus' name, amen. Uh, the prayer I just did, if you are on my Facebook page, I asked for prayer for a young lady. Her son passed away. He was only two years old. He was sickly. But you guys, this girl was young. I don't know ex her exact age, but I'm assuming she's up there with my oldest daughter. My oldest daughter is 21. And when I tell you her whole world on Facebook now, I'm not, I don't know, you know, what she does in the streets. But her whole world was her son, and he passed on. And all over Facebook, if you go on her page, all you saw was her talking about her son, just her son, and she, her working, and her son, and her son, and her son. I mean, truthfully, you didn't see any pictures of her with any guys, any pictures of her out partying, clubbing, or anything like that. Not saying she didn't do it, y'all. I'm not saying she didn't, but I'm telling you what her Facebook world was nothing but her son. And y'all, some of y'all may or may not know that I lost two children, um, and I was uh, young. I was older than she is, but I was in my twenties when it happened. And I do know that can be a devastating effect, have a devastating effect on your life and your world. So I'm just asking that her name is Brittany. Uh, I'm asking that you guys just pray for her and keep her lifted up. I will uh, include a picture of her and her son at the end of this video um just lift her up y'all and i i mean seriously you guys i would appreciate if you would try to continue to lift her up for the rest of the year because you know a lot of times and i know because this is what happened to me you look okay on the outside and you are just destroyed on the inside um so, yeah, just lift her up, you guys. Just every time you think of it. Again, her name is Brittany. Every time you think of it, just lift her name up to the Lord. Please and thank you. With that, I'm out of here. Again, as I always say, um, tell somebody you love them. You never know when it'll be too late. And I love you guys. I want you to remember to be your own kind of beautiful. Again, tell somebody you love them. Later.